Hi everyone, welcome to Tony Renee at Home, Vlogmas Day 4. Please forgive me for what I'm about to say. We are in the middle of doing a lot of makeovers in our kitchen. And so I have recorded a couple of videos where you only see my hands. We have talking hands going on. Um, because I have my paint clothes on, my hair's up on my head, of course no makeup, not that I care about no makeup because I don't wear much anyway. But I'm introducing the video this way. I will be coming back and ending the video this way as well. I'm also getting ready to record a couple of videos in this same top. Let me start by saying this. Some of the best ingredients you can have on hand are ingredients for a homemade soup because it's a one pot thing dump it all together and you've got dinner and with that said this one that i'm getting ready to show you is my version of a vegetable beef soup so with all of that said I'm going to stop talking and just get on with the video and you'll see me back here when it's done. Enjoy. Okay, what I have in this pan is about a pound and a half of hamburger that I have browned. I also have one onion and a couple of stalks of celery and I only have the celery because I had it left over. You don't have to use celery. I do like celery in it and if I have it I will use it. You do not have to use this much hamburger. You can use stew meat if that's what you want to use but I like using hamburger. I like the flavor that it gives my veggie soup. So and I don't like little bitty chunks of hamburger. I like to keep the chunks of hamburger pretty big and what is added next is entirely up to you it is vegetable soup so we want vegetables but the types of vegetables is up to you you can add fresh you can add canned you can add frozen I have some canned vegetables from Aldi that I need to work through so that's what I'm using today I do not drain anything. So I have a can of, and that includes the hamburger. I don't drain this hamburger. I want that fat in there to help flavor the soup. So, undrained peas, undrained corn, undrained carrots, Something that you might like to add that I do not add to my soup is green beans. I don't know why I absolutely love green beans, but not in my vegetable soup. Don't know why. I got nothing. Okay, and then I am adding potatoes. And I have some, but I didn't want to peel and chop or even wash and chop. So I'm adding my canned potatoes. I am going to add, hmm, I was going to add two, but now that I'm looking at this, one might be enough. This pan might not be big enough either. So this is a one pot dish, y'all. The hamburger is browned in the same pot that I'm going to be making the soup in. Easy peasy. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the other one in there. Okay. Now those are the vegetables that I add. Something else that I add, just to give it more flavor, is tomato juice, tomato sauce, tomatoes, stewed tomatoes, just something tomato based. Again, your choice. You don't have to add this. This is tomato juice.
and it was a little bit thicker tomatoes or yeah tomato juice but not quite thick enough to be tomato sauce I really like adding tomatoes my family doesn't like it so much and a lot of times tomatoes I don't know if it's the acid in food but something gives me really big sores on my tongue okay we're going to add extra salt and pepper I did salt and pepper my hamburger as I was browning it and I put in one onion and two stalks of celery but I didn't do it very much have to be careful stirring this it's getting pretty full and I am going to have to add some water because I'm adding barley to mine I do like uh, vegetable barley soup I love barley okay I'm also going to add a little bit of onion powder even though I have an onion in here I add just I don't even know if that was a teaspoon you know I don't measure and the next thing I'm going to add is this beef base you can add a box or a can of beef base if you want I love this stuff this is my go-to stuff I'm going to add a couple of, uh, probably about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half. There's not a whole lot left in there, and I'm really debating on whether to add the rest of that. But I think I won't. I'll just use that in something else. Get the rest of that off of that spoon. And I'm just going to use one of my jars to add a little bit of water because this barley is going to absorb some of this broth. Again, you don't have to add the beef uh, base or beef broth. It does enhance the flavor tenfold, I think. And there is nothing better, in my opinion, than I buy the chicken base, too. It's called Better Than Bouillon, and I think it truly is. Do you use that? Have you ever used that? That is my choice. I do not buy those little bouillon cubes anymore. I hate opening those little packages. So that's what I buy. Okay. A little bit more water for that barley. And then I'm just grabbing a couple of handfuls right out of the jar and adding it in there. I will be opening this video from my studio probably. I have been in my garden all day long doing some clearing and I look like a farmer's wife. Hairs all pulled up on top of my head. My hands were dirty. I'm surprised I got them clean because I cannot stand to wear gloves. I like my hands in the dirt. Okay, one more thing I add. And that is a few bay leaves. If you add bay leaves to anything, be sure you count them because you can't eat these. One, those are stuck together. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. 
No, I want whole ones. I don't want to add those little ones. There's a great big one down in there I'd love to have, but I can't reach it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bay leaves. Don't let me forget. And it never fails when it comes time to get those out. I can never find one. All right, I'm going to stir those into the soup. <sighs> I can't wait to eat this. I love vegetable soup, and I make a pig out of myself when we have it. I love it so much, and I love just eating the broth. Okay, it looks good already, but it's got to heat through. And because I used canned tomatoes, nope, because I used canned potatoes, really all that has to happen is this has to heat up and let those flavors marry, <laughs> get distributed through there. So I am going to put a lid on it. I'm going to turn it down to low because I just want it to simmer. And it'll be ready as soon as it's heated through. And that's when I'll be back. Okay, let's look. Mm. And just like that, this is done. It's all heated through. This would be so good with that Dutch oven bread that I did with the tomato or the potato <laughs> soup. I keep calling the potatoes tomatoes. This would be so good with that Dutch oven bread that is in the potato soup recipe video. Oh my gosh. Hopefully there will be enough that we can have leftovers for the weekend. For me, this is Thursday, and I'll be honest, I don't know what day I'm going to post this video. I'm trying to get a bunch of videos done, but I'm going to stop stirring this. The only thing that really needed to cook was the potatoes are pretty thick, so they needed to be sure they needed to have enough time to heat through. And the barley was quick barley, so it didn't need but just a couple of minutes to cook. And just like that, dinner is done. The time that it takes you to brown your hamburger, chop your onion, you could also use just onion powder or the granulated onion, or the, um, what's that called? Hold on. Minced onions. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word minced. You could also use these if you don't didn't want to chop up an onion. Anything that you do like this though does alter the flavor just a little bit because I think anything that I use these in alters the flavor just a little bit. I tell you what altered the flavor of this. The hamburger was from our best friends from Missouri, Jeff and Christy. Jeff has like 5,000 cows. <laughs> Just kidding. I think he has like 400 though. And we helped them move across town. It's not like they even had a big move, but we went and helped them and they gifted us with a flipping box full of beef. Gotta love friends. Good Christian friends. We most certainly did not do it because we thought they were going to give us anything. We did it to help some friends, but that's what friends do, right? Okay, I'm just going to let this sit here and continue to simmer until we want to eat dinner. I will serve this. I don't have any Dutch oven bread made, so I will probably serve this with maybe just some butter bread um, and a salad. And that's it. Could make cornbread to go with this. That's really good. I like cornbread with vegetable soup, too. So I hope you have enjoyed the talking hands. You ever watch Jay Morrell Stewart? <laughs> She's so funny with her talking hand. <laughs> so this is my version of talking hand. 
and I will wrap this video up again in my studio on another day and see you next time. What did you think of that soup recipe? So easy, right? And I love dinners like that. Holidays are busy, busy, busy. So we need easy, easy, easy. And I hope that helps you out and gives you a meal idea, not just for this busy time, but for any time. Um, let me also say that I didn't mention in the video, if there's a little bit of leftovers and I want to stretch that some more, I will put the pot of soup back on the stove and add some elbow macaronis. And that makes it go farther, even farther, because that pasta in there fills you up more. So you can have a little bit of soup, but add that macaroni and it'll make it go farther. You might need to add some more broth um, or water in the better than bouillon. Uh, like I showed you in the video. I also did taste the soup and I went ahead and added that the rest of that bouillon that was in that little jar. So again, I hope you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I will have more recipes for you even after the holidays, but we'll get into more of the homemaking side of Tony Renee at home as well. Until next time, guys. God bless.